maybe you're like me, kind of scared to call yourself an atheist. <laughs> let's, let's talk about that in today's video. Hi, my name is Timmy Gibson, former evangelical fundamental Bible thumping, tongue talking Christian pastor. Did that for 30 years, spent about 48 years as an evangelical Christian, spent about no, how long was I charismatic, charismatic, Pentecostal charismatic are pretty close to the same, but I did get amongst the, like the health and wealth gospel preacher types. Um, man, it's been years. I was probably a part of that movement for a good 10 years or maybe more 10 to 12 years. Anyway, uh, welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. Don't forget, like, subscribe, do all the stuff. And let, as I always say, cuss and discuss, but be friendly about it. In fact, I, I don't think you can cuss. I think YouTube will delete those comments, probably. I don't delete comments, just FYI. I have deleted a few because people were nasty. But I don't delete comments if you're disagreeing with me, just FYI. Yes, I collect, I collect the Starbucks coffee mugs. The You Are Here series. Um, there's some other ones too. Anyway, yeah, absolutely love those coffee cups. I, I, I have a whole collection. I think I have like 30 some, uh, 30 some of them. Anyway, oh, also, hey, don't forget, uh, if, you don't, if you don't go to the community page of YouTube, you know, where I just post random pictures and it's kind of almost like a Instagram-ish feeling thing. Um, because though I do have Instagram, that's not where I'm engaging in, in any of this conversation. That's my wedding Instagram. I, I, I know you can have multiple Instagrams and I could create another one, I guess, for this. Uh, but I did a Facebook page, a group, look it up, the deconstruction community. That's it. The deconstruction community, uh, look it up and make sure to request uh, to subscribe. It's only for those who are atheist agnostic or in some form of deconstruction. If you're a religious person, you're just not welcome there. We don't want you there. <laughs> this is a safe, a safe place, uh, for those who are either beginning their deconstruction, you are full blown in your deconstruction or, uh, you're agnostic or, and, or atheist, or would call yourself an unbeliever, unbeliever at some point. Okay. Let's talk about, scared to call yourself atheist. I mean, it's very real. It, I, I am, you know, uh, though it's easy for me to say I'm agnostic because I think everybody probably on planet earth is technically agnostic, right? No one, no one actually knows, uh, people have faith and they believe and that's fine. Um, but you know, I, I listened to a, a podcast recently, uh, another, I listen to Michael Shermer often, um, really like his podcast. And he, he interviewed a guy that, that talked about agnosticism, atheism, and, and doing surveys and, and trying to pull that information from people. And that often people who are agnostic or even technically atheist will not check those boxes out of fear of judgment. And, you know, it's funny, I can really relate to that. I, I, when people ask me, are you atheist? I say, no, I'm agnostic. Like, God forbid, <laughs> you know, it's, like, it's kind of like this. It's like, uh, are you atheist? No. Well, do you believe in God? Well, no. <laughs> well, you're atheist then. Right. So, uh, you know, for, for me personally, I, I like the word agnostic. It doesn't seem to carry the same cultural, um, disgust. Did you know this is actually uh, the research is really fascinating about this, but that people in, in some research that was done when they when the researcher would talk about uh, identifying someone who was a rapist, a murderer, uh, a serial killer or that believed in incest or all these kind of things. What kind of person did, was this person? And they said atheist. Like what and so that's interesting that that the research shows and i think they even did a, a some kind of a uh, a survey when it came to um 
vote, voting for the president of the United States that a, a, an atheist could probably not right now ever be voted into the office of president just because people's perception of atheism. And so, yeah, I'm just going to be real honest. You know, when people say, are you atheist? I say, no, I'm agnostic. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there is something out there. I mean, is that something that you struggle with? Why do you struggle with it? Comment below. Um, wh why do you struggle with that? You know, I, I would assume I'm not alone. I would assume I am not alone here in that, that feeling, uh, feeling uncomfortable with saying, calling myself an atheist, which is interesting. I don't have a problem saying I don't believe in God. That's what's weird about it is like, if you ask me, do you believe in God? I'd say, well, I mean, I don't know if there is a God out there. I really don't like, I, what are you talking about? What God are you talking about? You talking about the Bible God? Well, no, I absolutely don't believe in that God. So clearly I would be an atheist as it relates to the Bible God. Well, do you believe in that, you know, in some God that's out there? Well, I like, do do I believe in that? I, I just don't know. That's a hard for me. It's like, well, that's hard to answer. Like, I don't, there's no evidence for any kind of a God like that, but I don't know the universe. I don't know the unseen world that's out there, right? Like, there's a lot of things I don't know. Like, so maybe, right? I don't know. I, I don't know if there is a God or not, but that technical question, right? Do you believe in God? It, you, uh, Gervais, uh, Ricky Gervais says, well, you can't say you don't know. Like, do you believe in God? Like, do you believe in a God? That's, it's a yes or no question. And, you know, I, and of course you force my hand and I'm like, well, no, no, I, I, I don't believe in a God in any, in, in, in any particular God, but is there a God out there? Maybe. I don't know because I don't know everything. I don't know every place, right? I don't, I don't know. I just don't know though. I am for me. I'm just, I'm, this is maybe this is just therapy for me. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm the only one here struggling with, with not liking the word atheist. Um, I like the word a theist. But I don't like atheists. Anyway, but again, I don't believe in God. So, you know, technically, right, clearly I am an atheist, but also agnostic, which is interesting because there's a, I, I should have looked the guy up. I should have looked his name up. Maybe I'll put it in the description below. Maybe even link to the, you know what? I will do that. I'll link to the podcast that I listened to by Michael Shermer uh, in, in my notes here in, below this video which I need to do better about stuff like that. I, I don't do a very good job. I, I, you know, I have Patreon. There's a lot of things that I have and I just, I need to, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm still new at this. Just June is when all this started. And this wasn't a goal of mine. This wasn't a, a vision. I didn't have a vision board with YouTube at the top. <laughs> I have a full-time job that keeps me very busy uh, in the wedding business. So anyway, neither here nor there. I, do you struggle with the word atheist? You know? Um, I think there's a few little things when I think about it. And again, this is, this is like, kind of like when I think of like THC or, you know, the devil's lettuce, I think I instantly, my mind goes to a frying pan with two eggs. This is your brain. This is your brain on drugs, right? Like that's what's in my mind. Um, even though I'm a consumer, uh, you know, so I, it's that it's that association. So, you know, spending 48 years as an evangelical Christian, when I think of the word atheist, I think of someone who is godless, right? Someone who is, which is funny because we're all godless. There is no God. Anyway, uh, you know, someone asked me this. I thought this was a curious question. They said, do you think God exists? And I said, no, but I believe that for you, he does. And they're like, wait, what, what do you mean? I said, well, in your mind, he does exist. So to you, then God does exist, but does God actually exist out there in the cosmos? Again, that's, I don't know. I don't see any evidence for that. Um, but when you think of what, well, it just sounds bad. 
again, this is, I'm letting you in on my, I'm letting you in behind the curtains of, of my deconstruction process and, and how, you know, it's been this slow, progressive journey. I've, you've, if you've watched my videos, you've heard me say it so many times. I was hardcore, fundamental Bible thumping Christian. The Bible's literally true. Okay, maybe not entirely true. Maybe there are some things that are just stories, allegories, and whatever. And then it became more progressive, more seeker, more open, more liberal in my theology until finally I got all the way over here and was like, Bleep! it just dropped, all of it dropped away. And the same way I had felt as an evangelical Christian, the same way that I felt about Mormonism, Jehovah's Witness, the same way I felt about Hinduism, uh, Islam, uh, Judaism, the same, exactly the way I felt about them, which was they're wrong. They're, it's, you know, it's not true. It's, it's, it's incorrect. It's made up. Now I just, Christianity's right in there with it. Like I just, it's, I feel, I feel about my own religion that I grew up under the same way that I felt as a Christian about every other religion. Okay. So, you know, now why, why do I struggle with calling myself an atheist. And I think it's just because of the connotation, the connotation, which I'm not alone. I mean, I, I've listened to several podcasts. I've read some research and, and it's a thing, like it's a thing, you know, that, that people will look down on people who are atheists. They look at them as godless and immoral and all those things, which I think is very interesting because I've said this before for me personally, I am way more, I say way, that's probably an exaggeration. I am more moral today than I was as an agnostic, as I was as a Christian, right? Uh, so I, I can't tell you about anybody else, but I, I know me and I know my own heart and I know who I am. So I can tell you that. And I would assume, again, cuss and discuss below, I would assume many of you are the same way that when you were a believer in God, you were, you know, you were trying to do the right thing and all that stuff. And now that you're not a believer in God, you're probably still attempting to be a good person, to be honest, to be fair, to be charitable, to be kind, right? I mean, my motivation, clearly, I don't believe in God. So I don't believe in the Bible. I don't believe in Jesus in in that same way. I believe that, obviously, I believe the Bible is is a thing. It's here. It's here. But you know what I'm saying? So I, but it doesn't change. It doesn't change my, it's not like now I'm like, oh, well, now I'm going to start, you know, pillaging and killing and <laughs> conquering. And like uh, that, that doesn't even, that's, that's the, that honestly, that's the most curious thing to me because I had always thought even if I did a sermon, if I could find that sermon, I, it might be out there on the World Wide Web somewhere. I did a sermon and I talked about that basically that I would be a terrible person if it wasn't for God. And, you know, now I look back on that I'm like, man, what kind of person did I think I was? That is just terrible. And so here I am, right? Not, not, I've, at the time when I was preaching it, I never, ever thought that I would ever, ever not be a Christian. I, I never, ever, ever thought ever that you, it's like, you can't even maybe grasp. If you're a Christian, you can't, you just can't imagine it. I, I just could never, ever, ever have imagined in a million years that I would be where I'm at today, believing what I believe today, thinking what I think, having the perspectives that I have on so many things, including I really thought that I would have been completely unhinged and living this wild, crazy, immoral, lascivious kind of life if I wasn't serving God, if I wasn't a Christian. And so, you know, I'm a case study of one for myself. That didn't happen at all. Like that just didn't happen. And, you know, I, I here's what's so interesting about the way people are and different perceptions. You know, there's a there's an old group. Uh, and this is this is a I'm going to tell you a funny little story. This is just like kind of dropping this in, out of thin air. But for those of you that remember, remember back in the 80s and even the early 90s, there was a group called Striper, okay? I think the lead singer was Michael Sweet. 
but the group is called Swiper. Striper, sorry, Swiper. <laughs> Swipe right, left. Anyway, Striper, Striper. If, if you don't know who they are, just go to YouTube, type in Striper, S-T-R-Y-P-E-R, -E okay? And, or To Hell With The Devil was one of the titles. To Hell With The Devil. Okay, anyway, go, go find that. <laughs> so I know someone, do I even tell who it is? how well I know this. Okay. So someone I'm, I know very well. Okay. A, a very good friend of mine who is in a band right now today. Okay. In a band, in a rock band. And I was talking to him the other day and I said, Hey, do you remember that group Striper? Cause we were talking about old big hair. Like we were talking about Def Leppard and, and just all the 80s stuff, right? Bon Jovi and Motley Crue and just all that. And he's like, Striper. He goes, Oh yeah. He goes, I know Striper. I was like, wait, you said that kind of funny. What do you mean? I said, you, you knew the group, the band Striper? He goes, yeah. One of the, he goes, a couple of the, or one of them, sorry. He goes, one of the guys from Striper hooked up with my stripper girlfriend. I was like, what? He said, oh, yeah. He goes, Striper came in a concert uh, in, in Ohio or wherever he was. I think it's Ohio. He said, yeah, they did a big concert. And he goes, the next day I went over to my stripper girlfriend's house. Uh, and And here came the guitar, whatever, one of the guys, I don't know who, which one it was. One of the guys from Striper had spent the night with her. <laughs> I was like, oh, gee. So interesting story about that. So I, I know people in the music industry. My, my wife's in the music industry. And I had heard through people like very well connected in the music industry. Like some of my friends live in Nashville and they're musicians. And so, you know, people that are very well connected in the music industry. And they had also confirmed that they were like, oh, Timmy, like, yeah, like many of the Christian rock bands, like party, like regular rock stars, like they're like sleeping around, doing drugs, doing all the same stuff. I'm like, really? Like on one hand, that doesn't surprise me. And, and let me just clarify, that doesn't mean that there is no God, right? Again, I don't think there is, but just people living sinful lives as Christians doesn't mean that there isn't a God. But I just find it super fascinating and curious uh, about that little tidbit of a story uh, from like firsthand account. Uh, that, that just confirmed everything I had heard. I had heard that already. Uh, and I had, in fact, I'd heard it specifically about Striper. And, and so that, that was a fascinating uh, story when he was like, Oh yeah, no, I, I, I went to my stripper girlfriend's house. Here came Striper. <laughs> anyway, what was I talking about? Ha! Okay. We don't like to be called atheists or we don't like to refer to ourselves as an atheist. I, I just, I, I think it's a cultural thing. Honestly, I think it's a cultural thing. And you know what? I would say, you know, I, I would honestly say, um, you know, any atheist that, that wouldn't like that someone like me would say, be hesitant about calling myself atheist, you know, to me that just, then you're giving, you're giving fuel to that, to that view. Does that make sense? Like, like let people be, let them be on their own journey. If I don't like referring to myself as an atheist, but yet I don't believe in God, that is my effing right to do so. And anybody that would judge, well, they're not really an atheist. They, they can't say it. They're just not, you know, they're just going to hide. Blah, blah, blah. It's just like just read between the lines, like, come on. Let people be, let them be on their own journey. Let them figure stuff out. Like let them walk out their own discovery of what makes, what makes, what makes sense to them, what feels right to them or what feels comfortable. And if someone is like, I don't believe in God, but I don't like calling myself an atheist. I don't, I personally don't think there's anything wrong with that. Like, okay, like, cool. I mean, whatever. And it's the same thing when it, when it comes to political stuff. 
I, I get so just fed up with and so sick and tired of people from, you know, maybe the side where I'm leaning, making fun of everybody on that side and then everybody on that side, making fun of everybody on that side. And or you can't even have a conversation. You can't even admit who you're going to vote for because of all the backlash. You're going to get blah, 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 blah. It's just ridiculous. It's just a bunch of immature ridiculousness, really. It's just absolutely absurd. Like people need to just grow the F up. Like, for real, come on. This is just getting out of hand. It's just, it's so nutty. And especially when you get into religion, it just gets so nutty. So why wouldn't we want to associate and be labeled? Well, I know for me personally, again, this is just my personal journey. I don't like labels. You know what I mean? Like, like I was wiping something up and somebody goes, oh, a little bit OCD. I'm like... No, I spilt something on the freaking table and I just wanted to clean it up. That doesn't mean I'm OCD. <laughs> you seem a little hyper. You got ADHD or... <laughs> Again, this is just my personal, as you can tell, this is my personal little, my personal little whatever. I, I just, I'm not a, I don't like labels. Now, Sometimes it's necessary and there are labels that really are important. I get it, right? And they sometimes lab labels Matt. It's a, no, the narcissist label. Dear Lord. You know how many people, as a relationship coach, I deal with a lot of couples and or singles that were in a couple. And they're like, well, he was an eight. He was a narcissist. Or she was crazy. She was a narcissist. <laughs> like, dear Lord. Like, man, everybody's narcissist, apparently. Again, now I'm not trying to belittle someone that actually, or not trying to belittle someone who was calling, or you know, someone that really was. They were with someone who was a narcissist. I know that's traumatic. I'm, I'm not making fun of that, but it's like really every, all six of your exes were narcissists. Okay, atheist. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I've had a lot of coffee this morning. I'm ADHD. <laughs> Anyway, so I get it, man. I really do. I, I really do, sincerely. Because it for me, it, it, it is an uncomfortable, I'm getting better and better and more comfortable with it, you know, calling myself an atheist. I still just prefer calling myself an agnostic because truly that's just how I feel. And I feel like that feels right to me. When I say atheist, and, and here's why, I think the proper definition of atheism, like most people don't know it. Most people think that atheism is, I know there is no God. Well, that's impossible. You can't know there's no God, right? Like that's, you can't know that. Just like you can't know there is a God. Okay. So you, you, you can't know there is a God and you can't know that there isn't a God. Now you can believe there is no God. That would be an atheist, or you can believe that there is a God that would be theist or Christian or religious, right? You, I, I believe that there is a God and okay. And I believe there is no God, or there's sometimes you say, well, you know, I don't, I don't really have many thoughts about it. I, I'm not a very religious person at all. I don't go to church. I really don't believe in God or anything, but you know, maybe there's something good out there, whatever. Like there's just like there's such a sliding scale, I feel, when it comes to, you know, religious, you know, theist or atheist. I feel like it's just a really a sliding scale. And 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 some people are religious. I, matter of fact, I had a guy, um, I won't say his name, but I had someone that, you know, made a comment, a private message me actually, and said, you know, I was a I was a worship leader and and then I I think, I think I'd have to go back and read his comment to, to know for sure, but something about, I think he was a worship leader and he kind of opened up about having a lack of beliefs and different things. And they removed him from the worship team. Wouldn't let him do worship anymore, which is interesting. That's an interesting, I had some musicians at my church that, that weren't believers, but they were gifted musicians. So anyway, so that's just personal thing. I think I was, you know, I was beginning that process of deconstructing. So I was pretty open-minded at that point. Anyway, so uh, the, he left the ministry as a worship pastor and 
uh, actually works, I think if I understood right, he works for like a non-for-profit, somewhat religious organization or deals with a lot of religious people. And he was saying that he, you know, he can't, he can't, can't talk about it, can't whatever. And, you know, that there was a, it, uh, I've been thinking about that situation, you know, like, what would I like? Well, you know what, like what I do. So as, as a wedding officiant, um, I would say 80% of my weddings are non-religious. They're just, just weddings, normal weddings. But I do have some people that are like, Hey, would, you know, could you read first Corinthians 13, which is the love is patient, love is kind and all that, you know, can you read this, you know, first John, whatever, or can, can you pray at the end or, well, yeah, of course I can. Right. Like I, I, I personally just don't see any kind of a problem with that. Like, I'm just reading a text. I'm not, I'm not teaching that, Hey, what I'm saying is what I believe. And here's why you should believe it too. And it's just, Hey, this is one of their favorite readings. Can you read it? And so well, of course I can read it. And can I say the words to a prayer that they've written out? Or if they want me to write one out, can I, can I say those words? Well, of course, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm not a Christian. I don't believe in God. I'm at, call myself an agnostic. I'm very open about that. Clear, clearly, I'm not hiding it. So when they ask me, they say, well, you know, because again, it, sometimes it comes up when I'm talking to couples and they'll say, you know, is, is it cool if you read a Bible verse? I'm like, well, of course, of course. Anyway, so back to this guy, you know, I find that curious because I think on one hand, can you can do a job. Now, if you're a preacher or, or working in some, at a church, depending on what your job function is, it could be a little bit more difficult. Matter of fact, I'll tell you what, I had coffee with someone last year that works at a church, but he's in, he's in the, the tech, he's in the IT department of the church and he's a non-believer. And he said he sometimes, you know, struggles with because he can't really talk to anybody about it, but he's like, but I still do my job and I can do a good job at my job because it's, it's, it, you know what I mean? Like he's not teaching and preaching to people about what his beliefs are. He's fixing computers, you know, fixing emails, fixing networks. Like he's just doing his job. So I, I think if you can function and do your job and if you enjoy it, I don't see what the problem is really. Like I, I think, well, you could just keep doing it. Now, if you have, you know, if you're struggling with it and you don't, you don't feel like you don't feel good about what you're doing, you know, because of the religious connotations, like then that's just a decision that someone would, you'd have to make, you know, on your own. So guys, yeah. Cuss and discuss below. I, I did a little bit of a rambling. So uh, just because I, I, I'm still processing, I, I, I just wrote it down in, in my, my journal. I keep a journal. I just wrote it down, you know, um, I'm scared to call myself an atheist. And I'm like, what is that all about? And I, it, it's really just a cultural thing. I think it's how I want, I personally, like I know who I know how I am. I want to be liked. It's kind of my, my flaws, maybe a plus and a flaw, both, you know, um, I, I, I want to be liked. And so I, I wouldn't want someone to, to not like me based upon a lack of a belief in a fictitious imaginary <laughs> thing. So I, I, you know, it's very curious when you, when you really think about it, it's very curious, right? It's very curious. Um, so yeah, what about, what about you? And what, why do you think you struggle with it? And, and let me just say, let me just make a few, like encourage you is that it's okay. Like there's nothing wrong with calling yourself agnostic or saying, you know, I'm not really sure what I believe. I was talking to, to uh, someone recently about that. And they were like, you know, all my friends are giving me crap and telling me I'm going to go to hell. Blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, number one, you know, like, who cares what they say? I said, but man, I said, you don't have to tell them you're atheist or agnostic or you don't believe. You can just say, you know, I'm just, I'm uncertain right now. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I have a lot of questions, you know, I have a lot of questions and don't have any good answers. There's no shame in that. And even if an atheist tries to shame you for that, again, you know, punch him in the throat. Like, that's like, no, not really. Don't do that. But you know what I'm saying? Like, no, like, it's okay. It's okay to still, you know, somewhat hold on to one thing while you're 
deconstructing or holding on to this. In fact, I would, this is just how I feel. If you're, if you're a Christian, great. Like if that's the life that you want to live and if that's what, you know, if you want to, you know, it's like, I wouldn't fault uh, someone for, I mean, I think it would be slightly odd, but you know, if I was talking to a little kid and he believed in Santa and all that, I'd be like, okay. I mean, I mean, maybe. <laughs> all right, guys, talk long enough. Cuss and discuss, subscribe, do all the stuff. As always, thank you so much for listening. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. And don't forget, join the Facebook group if you're you no know religious people, okay? If you're religious, no. Uh, the Deconstruction Community Facebook group. All right, guys, peace.